You know what time it is. Let's get it. Yeah. 
I don't know where to go with this letter. What the hell? Except to just. Well, I just gotta do it my way, I guess. So here we go. Uh, this 32 year old single female uh, that's been celibate for three years until recently. She said she don't go out much, and the only man she see at her job. She said uh, one day she needed help with her car, so she asked his older co-worker. So he came outside, looked at her tire, and then brushed against her breast and looked at me. Now, listen to me. These are the two things that need to occur for a successful date with this woman. Brush against her breast and then look at her. <laughs> that combination right there is about to be old and cracking. She said her eyes locked and I could tell he was interested. Now here's a key line that I want you to pay attention to. This is how I read letters. So I asked him to come by and take a look at my washing machine. What is she referring to? What is she referring to? Uh, washing machine. Good fucking question. Because... I know that men sometimes name they private parts, but this is the first time I've actually heard a woman name hers and refer to it as the washing machine. I would be scared of that right there. I'm not going to get over here and get put on this damn spin site. And then you talk about drive me. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to go because this sounds like a wild mm. evening right here. Come on over here and take a look at my washing machine. <laughs> I'm very scared right here. You know. <laughs> you ain't ever, you ever, why would you go over there and put yourself in the washing machine? You ever done that before? No. You already know your ass is in trouble. You know, come over here and get in this washing machine. No. That's like that commercial. Be back with part two, y'all. Okay, guys. <clears throat> back with part two. This fool is. This was yesterday when I start when I was talking. So this 32 year old lady had this older man come out to the car and fix her car and uh, he brushed against her breast and looked at her and that was it. She knew he was interested in inviting her over to the house to take a look at her washing machine which we discovered was a new name for her body parts because being named body parts and she, she called herself the washing machine. Uh, he came over and of course we had sex because you know, of course. the washing machine. I'm going to want to use the washing machine. Of now, course. No, oh, that's not how that goes. I washing machines. I just don't want to get worked by the washing machine. That's why I probably would have went home at this point. But he old and thought he tried. And uh, he's average size, uh, but he's into a lot of kinky stuff. So he let me experiment on him. See, I don't, I don't know what that means. Right I don't either. I would like to know, though. I would have loved for her to win the G detail by that part. What is you finna do? What you doing? With me. What you doing, sis? So I would be scared. Right Where you putting now. things? What things you been put at? Then right after Christmas, uh, he uh, told me he needed some time to take care of a few personal matters, and he stopped calling me. First of all, yeah, it's he... Christmas is family time, so he's married. He got to uh -oh. his family. The main reason I became celibate is because I'm a nymphomaniac, and once I get good sex, I want it all the time. Now, what? You know, you just thought after all this, you throw this information in. It's exactly. not just at the top of the letter, we could have read it there. Exactly. That's why you got a washing machine. Oh! Oh, Steve! You got several buttons on it. Steve! I didn't think about Oh, Steve! <laughs> machine can handle heavy loads ah! and that would explain the nymphomania i didn't get it till now that is the you on point can't deliver. now listen to this because my messy co-worker said his wife's your co-worker is not messy sir sugar you are i kept my mouth and legs closed to him after you that. told and your co-worker how would your co-worker have known what 
Lady, you throw a lot of information out. So uh -huh. now, this is because of the messy co-worker. Nope. Being my messy co-worker. How did the, See, how does the messy co-worker know that you're seeing him? How? Say it again for the people in the back. The co-worker know that his wife is talking about leaving him. Say it again. For the people in the back. Hello. So you know, shut your eyes on this guy downstairs. The new guy is your agent. He loves to flirt, so I ask him to go to the movies. You, you, you need to quit talking to me because if they fix your car or go to a movie, the washing machine is open. That washing machine got to start working. Now you in the movie. And we fooled around in the movies, and his package was too tiny to please me. Not because you in the movie theater. I'm just going to say this right here since uh -huh. the kid is listening. Yeah. It's really, really hard to be all you can be at. In a movie theater, honey. Yeah, yeah. He other people around, you know, you ain't going to get maximum performance. You not. Everybody. The fucking seats is too close. There will be nothing going, well, she may can do some things to him, but that's as far as that's going to go, unless you're doing this, we both facing the movie and he got to lean over a little bit, I don't know. Anyway, the very next day, I saw my married lover talking to him at the lunch counter. I stayed with him over. Here we go. My messy co-worker sat down and started gossiping about how the man's son just got out of jail, so he got him a job downstairs. As fate would have it, I done slept with the jailbird and his daddy. You know why fate would have it? Because you end up sleeping with any man you talk to. <laughs> That's why. It's only a matter of time before my messy co-worker finds out all my dirt. Should I get a new job or just deny, deny, deny everything? Please help. I'm you know, you keep blaming everything on the messy co-worker. You the nymphomaniac. How did how the messy co-worker get the news? See, you, like Shirley said, you got to get you gotta get help with your problem. That's what I was You the nymphomaniac. If you were the nymphomaniac, it's not even about that. The co-worker would have nothing to be messy about. How you she, he, no. You didn't, you didn't talk to nobody. You didn't find out their background. I mean. You know, somewhere in the discussion. But you ain't spending no time. You didn't even know the man had a son that was in jail, and you didn't know that the boy that was in jail you, had a daddy that worked upstairs. First of all, spend no time talking. A lot of people, if she ain't in the making of a relationship, she don't need to work while I'm talking. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. Because a lot of times, you need to get you a sheet of paper with about people questions on it that will be dealing stuff called with people for years. And not know a fucking thing about it, except for the things that they know. On who you gonna live for, maybe act with. Because you just acting. And so the real problem is you live for maniac. But, you know, you need to do what you do, whatever you want to do with whoever you want to. But you gotta start taking responsibility for your actions. The fact that you live for maniac is your whole problem that you have. That's good. Thank you, Steve. Post your comments on today's Strawberry Letter. Couldn't wait to get that motherfucker over. First of all, let's be clear about something. You keep talking about this messy ass co-worker. How? I just want to know how the, co how the co-worker know. How the co-worker know. How does the co-worker know? And are you at the co-worker's house? Is the co-worker at your house? Are these niggas that you messing with bitches in reality? Because you know bitches don't know how to. Niggas that are bitches don't know how to keep shit to themselves. I'm going to say that again. Niggas that are bitches don't know how to keep shit to themselves. Now, niggas that are niggas, they'll see your motherfucking ass in the street and won't even bat an eye. Won't even look at your fucking, don't want, your peripheral won't even be in their vision. You know why? Because they know how to keep this shit. So, who talking? Either you talking or one of them niggas is talking. And if one of them niggas is talking, they probably talking to each other. And they don't give a damn about you. They don't give a rat's fat ass about you. By now, if they are talking, they have had a full-on conversation about your little thotting ass. 
But you want to blame this on the nosy co-worker, the messy co-worker. Boo-boo, you the one that's messy. You sleeping with the daddy, the son, the jailbird, the washing machine fixing. Lord Jesus, I'm glad Steve had a elaborated on that washing machine. Baby, baby, I didn't get it at first. I mean, I really, really, the blonde had really kicked, the blonde really had kicked in on that washing machine thing. I was just lost. And then Steve broke it down. Bless you, Steve. Ah, hey, look at you. Now, usually I'm quick on the draw, but this one here had me fooled. But, honey, you know, and, and uh, I, that word celibacy always bothers me. It, it does. It bothers me in such a way. Because when I hear the word celibacy, do that mean? I know person-to-person -person sex is off the table. I know that. But does that also mean that there's no, you know, the little, the little noise that we get? Does that mean that there's none of that either? That means that these phalanges right here, don't touch the uvula down there or the, the shlonga down there. I'm confused because when I hear celibate, I'm either thinking one thing. Either I'm selling a bit over here or selling a bit over here or I'm not doing nothing. She mad. She mad mad. She super mad. Only time something touches us when I watch. And I watch to make sure I not do it in such a rough way that I don't want nothing else touching it. I, I don't understand what, I'm not, the whole in-depth thing about selling, I'm going to have to do some research on it. I might put that in the description after I do what I, after I do this video and just put what it is, what, what the actual terminology of it is. Because, baby. I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I, I couldn't. I wouldn't. Celibacy? Celibacy. I, it'll be the celibate. It's going to be selling a bit over here and selling a bit over there and selling a bit back there. But honey, and if somebody do know what that word means, and y'all feel like y'all want to store that in my comment section, I would greatly, greatly, greatly appreciate it because I know what I think it means. That's, that's the only thing I think it means. Is that you don't do nothing with it except wash it and use it to, to uh, body functions, body fluid functions, body, bodily functions, relieve. I, there's nothing, there's no, there's no kind of nothing, no nothing going on. That's what I think celibate means, celibacy means. If somebody can correct me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, shut the fuck up. That's, that's, the, that's where we going with this. That's, that's it. I'm surprised Steve didn't tell you that. Shut the fuck up. Deny, 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 deny. Deniable plausibility. It's, 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 it's just deniable. It's outright deniable. If you don't have no reason to tell on your fucking self, because fuck them people at that job. Fuck them people at that job. That's why. Because fuck them. Because fuck them. I, I, just, I just thought about that. It ain't none of your motherfucking business. If you fucking five niggas at that job, fuck them. I mean, literally and metaphorically, fuck them. Because I, I don't even understand why this letter here is a thing. Unless the wife has confronted you about her husband. Who the fuck gives a fuck about the messy goddamn co-worker? Who? Who? Gives a fuck about the messy You would need to leave that messy co-worker alone. Why you at it? If the married man ain't fucking with you no more, kick him to the curb. Kick rocks, nigga. Believe that messy ass. Stop telling this bitch all your business. If she can't keep her fucking mouth shit, stop telling her any fucking thing about your personal life. How about that? Then you want to worry about the messy goddamn 
um, co-worker or whether or not you got to lose your job or move. You about to lose your job. No, uh, you, if you stop running your fucking mouth, first of all, stop talking. That's what you do first. That's first and foremost. Shut the fuck up. Two, if that wife, because that's the only person that's really important here. If that wife should happen to come talk to you, who? Me. Ma'am, I don't know your husband. His son, I don't know him either. We work together, but that's all I, I work. He works here. I work here, but that's it. I don't know him. Now, I don't know what he may have told you, but I do not know this man. And I would appreciate it or this slander would stop. Before I go to before I go to jail, before I go to the police, get a lawyer. I mean, sometimes you gotta take your best measures. But that fucking nosy ass coworker, that fucking nosy ass coworker, leave that hoe alone, cause she messy. And she got the right a messy ass coat. Leave her alone. Just just leave her alone, cause just, apparently the hoe is jealous about something. She she mad and she jealous about something. Leave her the fuck alone. Stop telling her all your fucking business. Especially anything that you do in the bedroom. Please leave that shit at home. Now, if y'all want to talk about the bitches on the job, fine. Let Messy, Messy, let Messy Marilyn in on all the gossip. Give her all the tea. Give her all the hot piping tea. But anything, and when I say anything, I mean anything that you do with any, even if you're doing something with your fucking self, keep that shit to yourself. But this your girl, Ms. that washing machine. Anyway, this your girl, Miss Benjamin Buttons on one. I'm out. Like, comment, share. Y'all start commenting on my shit, bro. I'm out.